morning, YouTube. It's Francis Xavier logging on for the day, and here with me today is my trusty co-host, Aaron. Hey, guys. Been a while. Glad to be back. I've been waiting for this one for months, mainly because I know you see the Thousand Eyes support on this Ancient Millennium box, but what I'm really interested in is all the new Crystal Beast stuff. Yep. I can't wait anymore, dude. The setup was too long. I'm Legendary cracking. Duelist Ancient Millennium. I'm Your going turn. first pack. Sorry, I, I know you did it, but I've been waiting for this more than you have. Your turn, Yugi boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's start off with some crystal yep. bees. Right off the bat, we have Ruby Carbuncle. Thousand, Thousand Eyes Restrict at Common. Instant, Instant Fusion. Fusion. Arm Dragon Level 7 and Ancient Gear Frame. Oh yeah, I forgot there was some cool new Ancient Gear support. All right. Me next. Let's see what we got here. Should go out check to make sure this whole thing is in frame. All right, we got limited removal, rainbow dragon, nice crystal beast ruby carbuncle, insect queen, and ojas ojama simulation. Ah, crap! It's one of the Chaz. Honestly, the support Chaz got was some of the worst because it need needs you to juggle three archetypes. Mm. All right, Coming up next, it. we got crystal beast sapphire pegasus, ancient, ancient gear, gear golem. golem. Rainbow Dragon, Vortex Trooper, and Corrosive Scales. That was one of the lackluster cards that Weevil had. Other in the list we looked at, Weevil's got some powerhouse stuff in here. All right, your next. I one. don't know. I was a sucker for it just because it took that took Yugi and Weevil's very first duel and actually made it feasibly possible in the card game. I mean, yeah, but it, the pow the effect isn't that powerful. Yeah, I'll admit it's not that useful. No, uh, but... now Metamorphose, Insect Queen, and Parasite Paranoid. Oh, That's... Ancient Cure Golem. We got something shiny. Arm Dragon Level Seven. Ojia Magic. Desperado, Desperado Barrel, Barrel Dragon. Dragon. One of the new Bandit Keith stuff. Let's see. The face up Dark Machine Monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can special summon this card from your hand once per turn during the battle. Ace quick effect. Toss a coin three times. Destroy face up monsters on the field up to the number of heads. Then if the result was three heads, draw one card. This card cannot check the turn effect is activated. This card is sent to the graveyard. You can add one level seven or lower monster that has a coin tossing effect from your deck to your hand. And another ancient gear frame. Nice. Alright, coming up next. I've already opened the pack. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, Worm Bait, Crystal Tree, Blast Sphere, and BM4 Blast Spider, a retool of Launcher Spider from Bandit Keith. Oh yeah, I remember that one. I remember this one. I'll probably remember this one too. Let's see. Panzer, Panzer Dragon. Dragon. Arm Dragon level 3. Time Machine. Oh, I remember that. Ultimate Crystal Magic. Yes! And Parasite Paranoid. Oh, is that what it's called now, Ultimate Crystal Magic? Oh, we got Paranoid. Oh, that's uncommon. Yeah, so what Ultimate Crystal Magic is, the new quote-unquote fusion trap. Uh, it's when, when a Crystal Beast monster is destroyed by battle, you can send seven Crystal Beast cards with different names from your hand, deck, or her face up on the field to the graveyard. Special summon one Ultimate Crystal Fusion monster from your extra deck. Basically, Ultimate uh, Rainbow Dragon. Uh... If a face-up ultimate crystal monster you control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, place any number of crystal beast monsters from your graveyard, face up in your spell and trap card zone. So, honestly, you run one or two, and then you run two of each crystal beast that isn't Ruby Carbuncle or Sapphire Pegasus. That's how I'm going to be building it. And you can actually equip Parasite Paranoid from your hand to another monster. It mm -hmm. becomes an insect, can attack other insects, and it has its effects that target insect it monsters. It does, that's the and... that's mimicking the way the Joey one played out, so... My and turn. if it and if it goes to the grave, you can summon any one level seven insect monster from your hand. Yeah, you the insect queen metamorphosis. All right, cool. Yep. Barrel dragon, Panzer dragon, arm dragon level three, arm dragon catapult cannon. Boo! That thing is so hard to summon. It needs VWXYZ dragon catapult cannon and arm dragon level seven. Its effect is really lackluster for how hard it is to get out on the damn field. Still looks cool though. It looks cool, yeah, but it's really annoying. And no, corrosive scales. scales. All right, here we go in the next pack. Time Machine, Crystal Tree, Thousand Eyes Restrict, Limited Removal, and Illusionist Faceless Magician. One of the new uh, uh, Eyes Restrict archetype. It's not Thousand Eyes archetype, it's Eyes Restrict archetype. It's, it's, it's so basically a Thousand Eyes and Millennium Eyes Restrict. Yeah, it's basically like an up, amped up version of Pegasus' old Illusionist Faceless Mage. Mm -hmm. Which was just a normal monster, really. Back in episode two. Uh -huh. Whoa. On the next pack, we've got... Limiter removal, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, Oja Magic, another Desperado Barrel Dragon. We're getting a lot of Ultras, though. And, and, and Ancient Gear Frame. Right, here we go with the next one. 
Okay, I lost track. This is like pack. Uh, one, I two, three, forget. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's just say this number. Waiting seven. on some of the crystal beast stuff. Relinquished. Crystal release. Perfectly ultimate great moth. Arm dragon level seven and BM4 blast sphere. Huh. That was a little underwhelming. Hey, at least we're getting better pulls than I did in freaking uh, the first legendary duelist. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rainbow Dragon, Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle, Insect Queen, Barrel Dragon, and Parasite Paranoid. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Give me the Rainbow Bridges and Crystal Bonds. All right. Pack number 12. We are now a third of the way through. Here we go. Carb Ruby Carbuncle, Thousand Eyes Restrict, Instant Fusion, Arm Dragon Level 7, and for the rare, Mimic Cat. Hang on. Okay. Hey, that's actually good that that got a reprint. More Toon stuff. Yeah. Alright, next pack. Come on, you. Starting off strong with Relinquished, Insect Queen, Crystal Release, Arm Dragon Level 5, and Oja Simulation. Pajama Simulation. Whatever. Ugh. God, they could have done Chaz a little more just. Pick one or two. Seriously. Honestly, you could have just done an Ojama Arm Dragon deck. Alright, Thousand Eyes Restrict, Ancient Gear Golem, Ultimate Pound, Arm Dragon Level 5, and Pinch Hopper and Corrosive Scales. Oof. Good thing we've got another box coming in in a few weeks, huh? Oh, yeah. We can... Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, Worm Bait, Crystal Tree, Blast Sphere, and Corrosive Scales. Again... Yeah. It seems to be a you got more to go. For a rare, it's pretty common. Yeah. Ugh. Anyways, let's see. Vortex Trooper, Sapphire Pegasus, Pinch Hopper, Instant Fusion, and Ojama Pajama. God. Yes. I mean, they do help search a little bit more, but there's just no way to make that unclunky unless you fusion tag or something. Ugh. Crystal Release, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Arm Dragon level 7, Thousand Eyes Restrict, and Ojama Simulation again. This one's been a little bit disappointing for how hyped I was for it. Yeah. Here we go. Panzer Dragon, Arm Dragon level 3, Relinquish. Yo! Metamorphose Insect Queen! Let's see what they got here. Better Can't than the original one. Can't be normal summon, must be special summoned by a card effect. So yeah, Paranoid can do that. If another insect monster is on the field, your opponent cannot target insect monster you control with card effects, and they cannot be destroyed by card effects. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacks, you contribute one monster. This card can attack an opponent's monster again in a row. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can special summon one insect monster token. Next pack is Ultimate Ancient oh. Gear Golem. Black oh, and Illusion. another Ancient Gear Frame. <clears throat> Go on. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Black Illusion Ritual. Crystal Tree. Ancient Gear Golem, and BM4 Blast Spider. Let's see how many we got left. Let's see. I'm getting the next pack, but I'm just seeing how many we got left. That's, uh... 10, 16... 16... So, yeah, we got 16 packs left. Dang, man. Come on, man. I've been waiting months. is pack number 20. Instant Fusion, Blast Sphere, Oja Magic, Relinquished Fusion. Nice. That's not fusion bad. Fusion Summon 1, Eyes Restrict Fusion Monster from your extra deck by banishing materials from your hand, field, and or graveyard. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one effect monster your opponent controls. Equip that target to an Eyes Restrict Fusion Monster as if it were equipped by that effect. You can only use one link to per turn. And Oja Match. Huh, interesting. Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, Rainbow Dragon, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon, and Oja Match. Alright. I'm making sure we each get our own separate pack. Yeah, eight for each of us. Alright, here we go. Here we go. BWXYZ, Limiter Removal, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, 
Heavy Metal Raiders. Whoa, it's a field spell. Yeah, it really fixes a lot of the problem. First time each Dark Machine monster you control would be destroyed by Valley's turn. It's not destroyed, and if you took battle damage, it gains that much attack after damage calculation and keeps that attack as long as this card remains on the field. Once per turn, if a monster you control that was originally a Dark Machine monster destroys a card of the field by battle, you can special summon one Dark Machine monster from your hand. Yeah. I know what you match. Oh, wow, that's cool. Barrel Dragon, Instant Fusion, Panzer Dragon, another Ultimate Crystal Magic, and Parasite Paranoid. Weird. I thought Rainbow Bridge was supposed to be a common. Well, either we'll find out with what's left, what's left in this, or with the another box coming in around March 3rd, I believe. Uh, and remember, March is also when we got to get the new Kaiba set coming out. Ancient Gear Golem, Ultimate Pound, Arm Dragon Level 5, Pinch Hopper, Instant Fusion, and Toon Kingdom. Finally, that thing got a reprint. The thing doesn't need to be 30 bucks. Now Toon Decks can actually happen. Actually, I have someone I, kn I know who needs that. All right. All right, for mine, Blast Sphere, Relinquished, Insect Queen, Arm Dragon Level 5, and Ojama Pajama. Let's see, you got five, I've got five left, and you've got... Six. Somehow, I'm opening another one to get it ready for the next one. All right, you start. Okay. Time Machine, Vortex Trooper. Black Illusion Ritual. Millennium Eyes Illusionist! Awesome! Let's see what it is. And Mimic Cat. Uh, you can discard this card, then target one effect monster your opponent controls. Equip that target to an Eyes Restrict Fusion monster or relinquish you control as if we're equipped by that effect. If an Eyes Restrict Fusion monster or relinquish monster that is special summoned, add this card from your graveyard to your hand. This is not optional. You can only use each effect of Millennium Eyes Illusionist once per turn. And look, it's even got the Millennium Eye. Most of that stuff does. Uh, for mine, we got Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle, Relinquished, Ancient Gear Golem, Arm Dragon Level 7, and Corrosive Scales. I really hate that being a rare. Yeah, seriously. Let's see. Vortex Trooper, Panzer Dragon, Arm Dragon Level 3, Time Machine, and Parasite Paranoid. Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, Black Illusion Ritual, Pinch Hopper, Barrel Dragon, and Parasite Paranoid. Come on... Alright, here we go. Wormbait, BWXYZ, Limited Removal, Cross Dimensional Duel. Jaden Crowler's first duel. Oh, yeah, you can even see him. Target one ancient gear monster you control, banish it during the next standby phase, return that banished monster to the field, and if you do, its attack becomes double its original attack until the end of the turn. If one or more ancient gear golem or ancient gear golem ultimate power would be controlled be destroyed by our card effect, you can banish this card from the graveyard instead. And no Jamba Jamba. Man, I wish, wish Crawler had that card during his duel against Jaden. It would have been a little too meta since it depicts the duel they were currently doing. Uh, Instant Fusion, Panzer Dragon, Time Machine, Ancient Gear Megaton Golem. Three Ancient Gear monsters. You just go ahead and read that. No match. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate Spell or Trapped until the end of the damage step. If this fusion summon card was using two or more Ancient Gear Golem or Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound as fusion materials, it can attack up to that many times during each battle phase. If this face-up fusion summon card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Wow. You're packed next, I think. Yep. <sighs> Just a little bit of luck, please. <sighs> okay. Blast Sphere. Ojam Magic, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, Black Illusion Ritual, Ojam Pajama. That was a dud pack. Ojam Magic, Time Machine, Crystal Tree, Thousand Eyes Restrict, and BM4 Blast Spider. Alright, here we go. Just three packs left. Perfect Ultimate Great Moth, Sapphire Pegasus, Ancient Gear Golem, Rainbow Dragon, and Ojam Assimilation. Damn it. Vortex Trooper. Black Illusion Ritual, Ruby Carbuncle, Relinquish, and Illusionist Faceless Mage. Yeah, last pack. I have a feeling we're going to have to wait for the new box. Unfortunately. Nice. Crystal Tree, Ancient Gear Golem, Worm Bait, Millenniumized Illusionist, and Illusionist Faceless Magician. Ah, crap. I'm gonna, after this video, let's look at what the rarity is yes. on the freaking thing. Cause I didn't get a single Rainbow Bridge. Let alone Crystal Bonds. I mean, I got the two mm. Ultimate Crystal Formation I'm going to be probably running. Yeah. 
you know, the, the rarity was really, really off in this box. TCG just destroys that sometimes. So, are we going to take catalog here in a second? Yeah, hold on a second. Be right back. So, yeah, we got uh, some... After puzzles. over 30 minutes of trying to sort this out... Because there was a lot. 180 cards in total. Yeah. So we got... Yeah. Six Relinquished. Two Millennium Eyes Illusionist. Three Illusionist Faceless Magician. One Relinquished Fusion. Uh, six Thousand Eyes Restrict. Strange enough, five Black Illusion Rituals. Six Five Parasite Paranoid. One Metamorphosed Insect Queen... Five corrosive, five, scales. five corrosive scales, three pinch hoppers, four insect queens, uh, five perfectly ultimate great mods, four M4 blast spiders, two desperado barrel dragons, one heavy metal raiders, and five blast spheres, four barrel dragons, six time machines, one armed dragon catapult cannon, Boo! four Ojama simulations. Four Oja Match, Four Ojama Pajama, let's see, Four Armed Dragon Level 3, Four Armed Dragon Level 5, Six Armed Dragon Level 7, and uh, Three v VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon, Five Oja Magic, Four Ancient Gear Frame, One Ancient Gear Mega on Dragon, One Cross Dimensional Duel, Six Ancient Gear Golem, Four Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, Four Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, two Ultimate Crystal Magic, Woo! six Ruby Carbuncle. Oh, I probably only need one. Four Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. We've got to pan down here, don't we? Yeah. Or is uh, it in view? Four. Yep, it's in view. Four Rainbow Dragons, uh, three Crystal Release. The table uh, wasn't big enough. Six Crystal Tree. Uh, five Vortex Trooper. Six Panzer Dragon. Seven. Instant Fusions, that's the most card we've got in this whole set. Five Limited Removals, four Worm Bait, two Mimicat, and one Tomb Kingdom. Which really needed the reprint, badly. It's been out for, what, two, yeah. three years? So we didn't exactly get the pulls we wanted, but we got some insights into this new look. We so. got a... I mean, I've been keeping track of this for a while. Uh, I uh, Off screen, while, uh, while Jeremy X here was doing his... While Francis was doing his mainly manly sorting techniques. Manly sorting? I'd, I'd call it slow, calculative, and rather inefficient, but that's another topic. Uh, I did some uh, research into the rarities. Turns out, the Crystal Beast stuff, the rarity shifted from Japanese to English. Um, crystal Bonds over in Japan used to be a super rare. Uh, I believe Ultimate Crystal Magic stayed as it was. Uh, but um, Rainbow Bridge was a common for them. For us, the rarity shifted to Super Rare, Rainbow Overdragon being a Super Rare from Ultra Rare, and then Crystal Bonds and Rainbow Bridge going to Ultra. And Crystal Bonds are 20 bucks a piece, and Chris Rainbow Bridge is like 12 a piece. And I need three of both of those. And it says in, and it says here in total that there's 27 commons, 10 rares, 8 Super Rares, and 8 Ultra Rares. So yeah, good luck with those pulls. The good. ratio is uh, really off on this one. Then again, with Konami, what ratio isn't off? Yeah. yeah. However, if we're not giving up hope, we have another box coming in about a week, maybe. Yeah, two. I've I've been told it's coming out at March on March third at the latest. That's actually almost. That's a little over one week. So if we get a little early, we'll be here. Well, maybe not this location. We had to go to a different yeah. location this it's time. It's March 3rd is probably going to be the day this hits YouTube with any with any bad luck. Yeah, with your schedule. Yeah. yeah but, school's back in session, and it's not making it easy. However, eventually, and I don't know how f far down the line this is going to be, it's probably going to be uh, after the next box open, we're just going to make a day of it. I'm going to bring a couple of decks, incomplete or not, because I'll have, I'll have replacements and explanations. Um, and I'll be uh, using his channel out here to do uh, my little deck profile corner I've been working on. Uh, I've got a couple I have in mind to profile. One of them, I'm really excited to show Cyberdarks around, even though against Dark Magician here, they're not that good of a matchup. 
But against other tests, they're actually a pretty decent stun deck, if that has anyone interested. Hey, you, you told me to make the most of my deck. I'm only... I did, I did. I just didn't expect that. I mean, hey, you uh, you got better, so we're good. Yeah, we had a couple of practice matches at Hickory Ridge, and I may or may not have completely mopped the floor with them. Yeah, well, turns out on a deck that doesn't have a whole lot of extra deck summoning... Dimensional Barrier at 3 is kind of a handicap. Go figure. Though it did stop an Eye of Tamias mid-play, though. Oh, yeah, that was a major upsetter. Yeah, but it, it's just the Dark Magical Circle is actually what killed me on that. Uh, it, just, the ban it banished my field spell and then everything else getting rid Because Cyber Darks don't make a big board presence, so... Once that field spell's gone and we're in the open, it's easy to shoot us down. But, uh, anyway, that's another topic for another time. Uh, we're hope you saw some stuff that some of you guys were interested in seeing, because, I mean, I'm not too disappointed. We got more, we got a lot of the, uh, thousand, the Eyes Restrict stuff done. We just, honestly, the only thing we didn't pull was the Fusion. Yeah, with all the, with all the Toon stuff we got in the last pack, I'm actually interested in setting up a Pegasus deck or something. That'd be interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say mix tunes in that, though you probably could. Uh, with Toon Kingdom, I wouldn't risk it, though. I'd probably go either, oh, pure Eyes Restrict or pure Toons. Yeah. But, uh, hey, that's what the deck corner is going to be for, is uh, exploring decks like that. Uh, I still hope to put together maybe a Silent Magician deck from uh, from Rivals the Pharaoh when we did that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all the time we have for this, I believe. Isn't that right? Yep. Uh, make, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, do all that good stuff. Maybe, maybe uh, do a little donation on our new Patreon account. For now... Uh, Francis Xavier, logging out.